this harbour now would be full of gilpin, little five, six inch little fish. And we used to be up on Freddy Tia steps there, fishing, gilpin, on the length of cotton with a bent, a bent uh, needle, bent pin, and a little bit of bait. You'd be pulling them out one after the other. And if you're down on the bottom step and the tide coming in, uh, you'd be up to your ankles in water. And because uh, once you, if once you had to leave that step, you're right up at the top one. And of course, uh, you, you didn't have the the length of cotton to pull them up there. The, it would bust. You see, so you you would virtually finish them once you left that bottom step. You're all right when the tide gone out because you keep going down. Uh, you're on a winner then with the tide gone out. But used to catch. It, Lots of people used to get them, feed the cat, uh, the gilpin, yeah, boil them up for the cat. Uh, just, this harbour would be chock a block. And same as out the breakwater, back from blocking, full of, full of fish. Yeah. And then all in the bay here, we have uh, big flounders. And they used to go out with a, with a box with a glass bottom, and they'd be able to see them on the bottom. And then the other guy would have uh, have the big, I forget what they call them, like a big lance to point on, stab them. And uh, that was a great thing then, uh, out there getting these flounders, yeah. And then the odd time you would get the place. Well, if you got the place, you were all right. You could bring it home to eat then, because you couldn't eat the flounders. Uh, uh, there was lots of the drift net boats here as well. You see, they were, they, uh, they had about 50, 60 nets aboard. And they would put the big curtain, like a big curtain out for the head and the header would swim into them. Well, they would always get a higher price than the ringnet because the ringnet boats would all go in a big uh, bag and then they would mash up a bit. So they weren't so good for the for the kippers. So the, like the drift net men, but uh, they would get about a pound a cram more, maybe a more for their head because they were always good, good head. Uh, place was alive with it all here. These boats, had, they'd be all landed by now, most of them. And uh, they'd be heading all over the place, gulls. Gulls couldn't take off because they'd be at full head. They'd be regurgitating to take off, go back up in the sky again. And that'd be off, they often see them doing that. They'd eat that, not that many heading. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was one chap here, he had a fishing boat. I forget what it's called. And he was known as the Dorby Spook. And uh, yeah, there was an old stage, one of them old nobbies with a wheelhouse stuck on it. And uh, there was another one called the Sicily. That was similar. She was just an old, uh, uh, an old one. Yeah. They were hard men then. They really were hard men. Yeah. Yeah. And they all lived, they all lived, six of them were down there, a little, just a little pokey hole up for it. How they all lived in there. Uh, all lived, slept in that. Uh, it's a full time for them. Uh, yeah, but they were, they were seemed to be happy days, you know, happy days. Uh, everybody was happy.